In this video, we're going to uh, continue on with uh, the architectural drawing that we did in our architectural uh, startup video. And in this case, we're going to dimension it. So again, I'm going to open up the dimension toolbar by going to Tools, Toolbars, AutoCAD, and Dimension. Before I put the dimension in, I'm on layer walls right now. Earlier, I created a layer called Dim for my dimensions. It's a different color. Now, if I go to put in a dimension, let's say I do a linear dimension, this was 50 feet across here by 40 feet down here. If I pick this endpoint and this endpoint and place my dimension, it looks like it didn't even put a dimension in, it just put three lines. If I zoom in on one end of it, I can see that there is an arrowhead there. If I zoom in on the text, it shows me that there is some text there. It's not quite in the format that we want, but it does have the dimension there. So obviously, in order to change the appearance, this is where we talked about dimension styles. If I go to my dimension style for this drawing and say modify, in this drawing there's a bunch of things we want to change. We said there were at least six things we wanted to change for an architectural drawing. This will be on the quizzes and tests, so good idea to take notes on this one. On symbols and arrows, we changed our the first uh, arrowhead to an architectural tick that also changed the second one. So we have the right architectural tick there. We said on primary units we could go to architectural and I'm not too worried about the precision. So now we have architectural units in here. Under uh, text we changed our font, and we don't change just the font, we change the font that's associated with the style called standard. So I can come over here to this uh, three buttons at the end, and again change the font to Arial, whatever you decide you want to use, as long as it's not TXT, that's too ugly. So we get a better looking font here. Now all I have to do is say apply and close, and it's now using that font. Now the two other things in this dialog box we want to change is the text placement vertical. Instead of centered with an architectural drawing, we want it to be above. So that's the third of the six things we change. The fourth one was, uh, maybe that was the fourth, anyway, the text alignment instead of horizontal, we go with align with dimension line. And the last thing we're going to change in here is our fit. Under fit, we change our overall scale. Remember that this uh, drawing is way too big to fit on a small sheet of paper. We're going to shrink it down to a quarter of an inch equals a foot, maybe an eighth of an inch equals a foot. You may remember the math we went through to get there. Uh, multiply both sides by um, 12 to get it into both sides into, into feet. And then in the, um, the next step, we got rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by the same number that was the uh, denominator in the uh, fraction. So if it was an eighth of an inch equals a foot, we multiply both sides by eight to get rid of the one eighth. And now it was one equaled 96 or one equaled 48. Well, that's the number that belongs in here. Let's say this is going to be plotted at an eighth of an inch equals a foot. Then I can type in 96 here. And it's going to be the all of the dimension sizes will be multiplied by 96. So anything that was a, a number, like the, the extension beyond the dimension line, the offset, the symbols and arrows, how big was the arrowhead, under text, how tall was the text, all of these numbers are going to be multiplied by that fit number. So you don't have to change any of those other numbers individually. You just have to change this one number, and they all change with it. When I say OK to this and then close, you'll notice that my uh, we now have an architectural tick here. Instead of breaking the dimension line, it goes above it because we told it to do that. It's aligned with it. Instead of being read horizontally, it's now read from the right. And the sizes are all 96 times what they were before. So now I go ahead and do the dimensioning that I would have done uh, before, but now I can actually read them, and it all works. I'll do a continue and pick the second point. Hit enter and we're done. So you can see that the dimensions worked out real well in an architectural drawing by making sure that the dimension style had the right settings.